How's it going YouTube? Welcome back to Crafting Cars. Today, we're in the garage because it's negative 24 outside, but I got the heaters going in here so it's nice and warm. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna wrap these headers before I put them on the BRZ, what, I'm, what I need on uh, the whole process from start to finish. For that, let's get a workspace opened up and cleaned up so we have some place to get this all done. So let's get right into it. We have a nice clean working area. Uh, you do want to have a separate area that you're going to wrap your head because the wrap itself is fiberglass. So you're going to get itchy and you're going to get fiberglass everywhere. You don't want that. So make sure you got a nice area that's going to be easy to clean after the fact, during the fact. Nothing that'll pick up some fiberglass and run away with it. So I'm going to use my workbench here. So obviously first thing that you're going to want is you're going to want your headers. Uh, I have my set right here. As you can see, we do have some flex tubing here and here. I'm gonna go into how I'm gonna handle these uh, later in the video. But obviously you wanna get your headers ready. Next up, you're gonna want your wrap, your fiberglass wrap. I have a couple of rolls just in case. Important thing, you're gonna need some stainless steel zip ties or some metal zip ties, essentially. Some that can hold the heat. Gloves, cause you don't want uh, fiberglass on your hands. Use some gloves, which I'm going to be doing because it's a pain in the butt to try and wash fiberglass off. The other thing that you can use, I'm going to be using some of this 3M Super 77. It's just like a little adhesive. Um, I, I'm only going to be using this to start and end the wrap. It's just going to be to help hold everything there as I'm pulling it all tight and as I'm applying the metal zip ties. I'm not gonna be coating the whole header in this stuff. This is not high temp stuff. This is not stuff specifically meant for headers. So you don't wanna coat everything in this because it'll cook off and uh, won't be good or fun. So I'm just gonna use it, like I said, initially to start it all off. They do make uh, header specific stuff, but the store didn't have it when I went there and I wasn't gonna, I'm not a big fan of coating my entire header in uh, glue. Be ready to spend some time on it. One thing that I forgot was you're gonna want a nice pair of scissors to be able to cut through the fiberglass uh, tape or roll here. And I'm gonna do it in two sections up to the flex joints. And I'm gonna leave the flex joints bare and open. Um, these are ribbed and thin, so they should help uh, dissipate the heat better by themselves as it is. But also this is where it's gonna be moving. So if I put the flex wrap or the, the fiberglass wrap over it, that wrap's just gonna be constantly moving, tightening, loosening as it gets wet and everything. This is what's gonna make the entire wrap unravel. So I don't want that, and it's not needed here. So I'm gonna do everything up to it and everything after it, so it begins. Some people recommend that you wear a mask and whatnot. Um, I don't do enough fiberglass, I think, to warrant it, so pull that out. All right, so now that that's open, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm just gonna start feeding it. Let me make sure you guys can see. Yeah, okay. So I'm just gonna feed a few, about that much. And I'm just gonna take this small section here. I'm gonna loose, loosely. Loose is the key word here. I'm gonna wrap it around something like that. Something like that. And then like that. All right, so now I should be able to go ahead and start wrapping it around from here. I'm gonna start it as close to the base. I'm gonna get a little bit more on there. I'm gonna start it as far around as I can get it. Right about there. Wrap it tight is the key word here. You want it as tight as possible. I'm gonna wrap it over itself one full time, okay? That's gonna be important. That's gonna give you the best seat for your uh, zip tie here. So now that that's going, I'm gonna bring it up just a little bit. I'm just gonna continue this wrap 
up around the bend here real quick. Now, I don't know if they usually, or if they do this on purpose or not, but you might be able to see on here that there is a black seam. I try and line that up so that that's all that I'm overlapping. No, never any less than that for sure, but sometimes not any more than that either. Okay, and here's the first one done. As you can see, there's no slack or slop in anything on it. Um, right here, I did stop a little bit short. I did that on purpose, uh, just because I didn't want to try and put one of these zip ties around that lip there. As you can see on here, how it steps down, rather just butt it up to it, because that makes it nice and flush. Um, but yeah, so wrapped her all the way around. Again, tight is the name of the game. I don't know if you can see all this stuff down here, but that is all fiberglass, that gold looking stuff. That's all this here fiberglass. I touched it a couple of times with my forearms and it's already itchy. But yeah, so now all I'm gonna do is throw you guys on time lapse. I'm gonna do the exact same thing and just start uh, wrapping her just the way that I was doing. And bada bing, bada boom, just like that, we are all done here. Now what you might've seen, uh, I was running into some issues over here, too tight even for this, so I had a jam of flathead in there to open it up a little bit. Um, but once I did that, I fed it through, and then I knew that I was gonna have to do like a combo wrap, like, uh, like here and whatnot, but I think I got it pretty tight. I got all the gaps sealed for the most part and whatnot, so I went and picked this can up right here. Uh, it's made by DEI. It's just some high temp silicone coating it says, but it seals and protects exhaust, exhaust wraps is what I want for this. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bust out my vacuum real quick, vacuum up any loose particles that I can pick up with it. And I'm gonna start layering this on pretty heavy and thick, uh, allowing it to soak into the fiberglass everywhere uh, that it's on here. That went on super easy and simple, just like it was supposed to. So now that that's all on, I'm just gonna go ahead and start my propane heater on just to blast the heat up.
can says that it's supposed to reach 400 degrees cell or uh, 400 degrees Fahrenheit before it's fully cured. But with all that being said, that's how I would uh, wrap. That's how I would, and that's how I did wrap my headers for my BRZ. Um, so next up, we got to install them. On a side note, though, I did get some massive news uh, from my brother uh, relating to some upcoming content um, that I am super excited for. You guys are going to be super excited for. Afton super excited for it. Um, Big news, big moves, big stuff. So make sure that you're subscribed because you aren't gonna wanna miss this, I promise you. Um, but I'll give you guys a little bit more information on that once we get closer. So until then, appreciate you all sticking around. Hope you found this helpful. If you did, leave a like, maybe a comment. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.